Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Military. In today's video we're going to cover this item. What this is, this is a 77 set or a PRC 77 set. Its correct designation is a P or an AN Army Navy Portable Radio Communications 77 set. That's what all the um, initials stands for. Uh, the radio itself is an FM VHF radio. Uh, its range is about 5 miles in perfect conditions. But due to terrain, buildings, things like that, uh, you're roughly going to get about maybe three, three and a half miles um, communication range with it. Uh, the initial radios themselves had 220 channels. This is the updated version which goes to 2000 plus channels. Uh, and it was fielded or brought into service in 1968. Um, after the valve system in the PRC uh, 25 started to give trouble, whereas this is more uh, electronic, uh, they removed the valves and the bulbs and things like that in the radios and actually put in microchips. So the radio itself has been updated up or upgraded. Um, the radio itself consists of four main parts you have the harness, which is here at the back, you have the aerial, you have the handset, and you have the radio itself. Um, the the uh, configuration that I have it in here, it's for a radio operator of the Vietnam area, uh, 68, 69, uh, with the smoke grenades on the back. Um, the photos that you will see of them with the smoke grenades on the back is because when they were working with helicopters, helicopter support, they'd throw a grenade or throw a, a smoke grenade. The helicopter would tell them that they see yellow smoke. The radio operator would confirm that they have thrown yellow smoke, so that's why they had a variation of uh, smoke grenades on the back. It's also got its signal panel, which is here, just here. Uh, it's an orange signal panel. Uh, the aerials themselves, you had three main types. You had this, which is what they call the wire whip, and it's basically like a measuring tape uh, material type. Um, this here is a gooseneck, and it, it's, it's movable, um, so that the, the aerial itself doesn't snap. Uh, in here you would have the wire whip, which was 10 foot, I believe. And you also had what was called a fishing reel uh, antenna, whereas they could throw it up over to the trees to try and get a bit more range. This radio itself is also capable of being put into trucks or, or vehicles. You actually have a coax cable antenna uh, a socket here. Um, uh, the radio itself was used by a multitude of, of, of armies. It was used by the Greeks, the Irish Defence Forces used this. Uh, right up until the late 90s, early 2000s, I can remember this being in, in, in service on ranges and things like that. Um, the Australian Army used it in Vietnam, obviously. The American Army used it. Um, uh, it, it the German Army, the Bundeswehr, actually used uh, the 77 set and the PRC-6. Uh, I actually have a PRC six that I will cover in a later video. Um, so it, it was it it, it had a, a a very big shelf life or a big a very big life in relation to service in the defence forces or in 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 armies. Um, it's here on its its backpack uh, for to be carried by a, a, um, a soldier and actually down here at the bottom. They can actually fit their bump pack or their butt pack for the, from the M56 webbings. They can actually fit there, so they can so that it's not cutting into their their back when they're carrying the radio. So that's pretty much it. If you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please hit the notification button, and please don't be afraid to leave a comment. Thank you.